Welcome back to California Live. There's a private home in San Francisco that's been turned into an immersive art experience, and you can take a tour of it. California Live contributor Blanche Shaheen channels her inner Alice to head down a rabbit hole of sorts. We're headed to a private residence in San Francisco that's been transformed into an immersive art experience. We're talking secret rooms, hidden passageways, and optical illusions. I can't wait to see what this place is all about. Are you ready for this? I'm about to enter the rabbit hole. rabbit hole. Nice I've been hearing about you. Too. Yes, well, I, my mind is blown. I've only been in two rooms, and right now I feel like I'm in the bottom of an Egyptian pyramid. Well, let's just, <laughs> I can actually take you to the bottom of an Egyptian pyramid. Yeah. We've got about 27 more rooms to go if you uh, want to stick around. You've got but to be kidding we're me. We're about to eat lunch. You hungry? Uh, I, I, I <laughs> have so much to see. I mean, I, I don't there, know. Even, I mean, eating, here, even eating, eating here, you can look around. Are you <laughs> serious? Oh my, oh my gosh. Come on into the kitchen. What a kitchen. What? I mean, I can't believe you actually cook in this we kitchen. We do cook here. I'm a San Francisco native. I've lived here most of my life, probably walking like a couple of blocks away. Right. And I never knew that this existed. When did this start, actually? It, it started, it really started in about 1979. Okay. So it's, it's been going for a long time. I'm yeah. also a San Francisco, born and raised. Yeah. And um, grew up in the Chinatown area and all that, and ended up here when I was quite young. Mm -hmm. So I was probably 14, 15, and I just started this project um, in this house. It was, a, it was a dump, it was a rescue property, basically. And um, my mother had owned it at that time. I always worked as an artist. I've to art school and I just started using, I took out all my aggressions and grief and love and joy and everything on the house. What a great positive yeah. outlet and yeah. I could see you've done that because every little millimeter of this house is covered with art. It, it From is. tapestries it to the wall coverings to, I mean, these cabinets. Yeah. It's just yeah. everything. Which way do we go? Uh, that really? way. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Are you right serious? Right there. Like right there. Yeah. You good timer? Okay. Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like being in a C.S. Lewis novel where you open the wardrobe to an enchanted world. Each room is a portal to a different universe or dimension. I've never opened a door this way before. What? It's like all full of mirrors. So just let yourself float in the middle. Don't touch anything and we'll see what happens. I'm going to... Is this an elevator? It might be. It might go really, really fast. I'm a little you don't, you don't get vertigo, do you? Uh, no. Okay. What? <laughs> Find your way what? out. What? So, he threw me in here, and all I see are images of myself locked in this mirror room, and I feel like I'm stuck in a block of ice, so he said to push. Okay, I'm pushing. I never thought... Oh, oh, I think, I think, I think I, I found a way out, guys. This is a house where artists come and work. They help create installations, paint, do sculptures, create costumes, and give tours of this home. Do I just keep walking? I'm not sure. Uh, You're starting to grow kind of tall at this point. I know. Uh, so I think you passed it. Here it is. What? Oh, no, you've gone too far. Frank, what you the f is that? <laughs> what the f you're, you're traveling towards death. We're not going that way yet. We're taking um, you to the other side. Okay, where is the other side? You know, if I ever wanted to know what it's like to take hallucinogenics, <laughs> this is definitely it right here. And I don't need to take hallucinogenics ever because I'm living it right, right now. All right, so just lean back, put your hands on your chest, look up into that light. Ready for your ride? Okay. It smells like cotton candy, and I feel like I just walked into a childhood box of toys. Well, you, you walked know? into actual Pandora's box of uh -huh. life and everything that's inside of you. So th this whole room is it's looking at life without your rose-colored glasses on, but everything's in pink. Oh, wow.
25 words for love in Arabic. Close your eyes, let your hand feel one. All right, what did you get? I said, al gharam in English, deep attachment. Oh, that's nice. I never thought I would have deep attachments, but this is telling me that that's how I roll. Somewhere, somewhere. <laughs> So that pretty much uh, wraps up the experience today, coming out of the Garden of Sensuality, back to the light of day in San Francisco, and it's beautiful light. You're looking good in it. Now you said there's 27 rooms, so I feel like I just saw a minute part, but yet I feel like I saw so much. There's a lot to take yeah. in here. Yeah. So it's not, and, and ultimately it's not about what you're seeing, about what you're feeling and experiencing and the stories that emerge from you. Well, so I can't cool. thank you enough for this tour, Greg. It has been a blast. Appreciate it. <laughs>